ever did? Oh, your mama's gonna be happy to hear you stand up and admit this. You didn't do well in school either? Uh, no, I always did good in school. You did? Oh, yeah. So what, yeah. come on, stand up. What would you say to little Joseph over there? Joseph, to me, ain't got a problem. He does with his grades, but he respects his mama. The other one, seems like he don't want any respect from his mama at all. You know, he don't give his mother any respect. Yeah. You know, and I don't, that's the one thing. Mm. I mean, she's out caring, and they both are caring, but Joseph knows that his mother wants to help him. Yeah. The other one seems like, you know, it's no sweat off his back. Right. It breaks my heart to see how he doesn't seem moved by his mother and, and aunt in tears over your future, sweetie. Don't you feel a little something deep, way deep down in there, somewhere in the bottom of that heart? When you see your Aunt Marilyn just crying like this for you? You don't care. Let him answer, do you? I don't know. I, I don't feel nothing. I remember back when I was a young teenager, I didn't get a, into a whole lot of trouble physically, but I had a smart mouth and I thought I knew everything. But I remember when I turned 19 and I moved away from home, I had to go back and get with my mom and sit her down and tell her, thank you for all the love and the understanding and the talks and discipline and all that. And to Joseph's, uh, to Damien's mom, mostly what you need to remember is that I know you want to be your son's friend and that you love him and everything, but loving your son also means telling him no and making him understand that. Kids want yeah. discipline That's and they need it. That's right. That's right. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. Um, our next guest says that it's her granddaughter who's so bright. She says she's such a bright girl. And this grandmother dreams that someday her granddaughter is going to go off to college. The only problem is that Nancy says her 16-year-old granddaughter, Lily, has decided this year just to drop out of school. And Grandma, I can see that is hurting you. What are you feeling right now? Like I want to cry. It's okay. We've got tissues. We've got tissues. That this is the Rolanda tissue box. A lot of times people have come here because you've been holding so much at home. You might need some too, honey. And I believe old Roe might need one also. <laughs> um, tell her what you've come here to tell her. I just want you to know that I love you and that I not only want to be your grandmother, but I want to be your, I want to be your friend. I want to be your, I want to be, I, I want to always be there when you, when you need me. And it's getting harder to, to, to do that because of the way you do. Um, you have no respect for authority. You have no respect for me or your grandpa. And you know how much we love you. And we, we're not mean. We try to do for you. We try to, I think maybe that's been some of the problems. We've tried to, too hard to um, get, for, get for you the things that you wanted. Not only the things that you need, but I didn't have much when... Um, I was growing up and, and my, my children didn't have much, so I've tried to see that you and your sister have, you know, and um, when I tell you no for some reason, I don't tell you to be mean um, or to hurt you. What does that college education mean? I mean, so many of us dream of a college education, sometimes our hearts are big enough that we dream them for other people. If you had your dream come true for your granddaughter, what would that dream mean for college? I mean, what does that mean to you? Well, I've, um, I've <laughs> had to waitress all my life. That's real, real hard work. And I would like to see Lily. She's got the potential. She's very intelligent. She's the kind, Rolanda, that can, um, she can be sitting here and watching TV, reading a book, drinking a Coke and talking to me at the same time and still can tell you what she was studying if she would just put her mind to it. So, Lily, what do you say? Um, I'm going back to school in January. You are? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe that tough love worked a little bit. Maybe it did. I know that um, you wrote a letter. For, to your grandmother? Yeah, in March. In I, March. I wrote a letter here. 
And what did that letter say? We got that letter, right? Yeah. What um, did you tell us what you said to us in that letter? I basically told y'all about the way that I was and that um that I had cleaned up and I was ready to say something to my grandma. Well, honey, you flown where are you from? Oklahoma. Oklahoma. <laughs> yeah. All the way from Oklahoma they flew so that Lily could say something to her grandmother. I'm going to let you tell her right after this commercial break, okay? okay. We'll be right back. Okay. Let's get